Oh man. Did we lock that front door? We're closed. It's better be locked. <laughs> Go away. I'll check it. Just kick them out. They can't come in. Nope, they're oh, gone. They're gone. Good. Sorry if that was any of you guys watching. Uh, yeah. Don't. Oh man, uh, they heard you jiggle the door. Oh, uh, yep. Nope. They. <laughs> they they heard us lock the door on them. It's so sad. Sorry. Just love you. Like Have a great day. Uh, <laughs>
Um, so if you're looking at any of our wallets on our website now, uh, if it's natural, buck brown, black, um, that is now currently uh, the new Latigo from Wicket and Craig. Anyone that has our ghost leather, I would put any of the ghost leathers in a high, high, yeah. high durability rugged top. Like S tier. Like yeah, like, like it's, high as it goes. It's as about as dense as I've ever like grappled with yeah. when it comes to stitching. <laughs> Sewing so, some of those was a uh... the break in time is going to be a long time, but that wallet is going to be around a lot longer than um, a counterpart in Horween, Chrome XL or Dublin or. Um, someone's asking a good question about the port wallet, which is kind of our flagship. Um, where did the design inspiration came from? So there was a brand called Bison Made. They've been around um, a little bit longer than we have, and they have a little wallet that is similar to what our two-bit wallet is. It just wraps a couple times around itself. And uh, in 2013, I took that same general idea and I wrapped it one more time and just did a basic stitch. Um, then I had a little bit of a headbutting with another guy that was doing the same thing and so I'm like, all right, I'll change mine and I just wrapped it one more time and that was about uh, mid-2014. We ran a Kickstarter on that and it actually did really well and it's kind of been what it is since then, but that's the quick history of the port wallet for that question. And, and the port wallet isn't something super special. It's, it's simple, which is beautiful. Um, but it still took dozens it's of iterations until guy. it uh, until it like was the perfect let's, fit in all the right ways. Let's be honest. We, we mostly get roasted in the uh, <clears throat> the the bottom of the feeding trough area of the internet. Okay. Kind of, kind of no the names. Lowest, we're, lowest, no lowest, names. Lowest we're talking areas. about certain. <laughs> we're talking about channels. Certain certain channels and forums. Lower certain places. <laughs> where the barns. the yeah. sludge kind of <laughs> creeps around and yeah does its thing. I take it personally when people try to copy the port, and I didn't even come up with it. Um, yeah, Adam, I, love fans like I that, loved man. you, dude. Every time he you find the knockoff it. guys and tag me, like, uh, it, it, he's up till it three. Hour, yeah. He's up till three o'clock in the morning. He's, That's not yours. He's <laughs> sniffing out these knockoff guys, but uh, yeah. And I got into a discussion with a guy on Instagram who was so disappointed that we didn't support plagiarism. Yeah, <laughs> he was like, very. Uh, like I'm. And his description too, he was a unique handmade brand. <laughs> mm, yeah, being congratulated on his design. Yeah. Yeah. My encouraging word to any and all leather and uh, leather crafters who are starting out is come up with something that no one else is doing, make it your own, market it, and then and write on that. That's something that innovation doesn't just come along um, that easy. And if you got it, yeah. like come up with it, and that's what separates you from the herd. Because the guys that are just riding coattails. Uh, or hitchhiking, as this other guy I was discussing, it called it. He called it hitchhiking. Yeah. Uh, like that. How's that? Um, well, if you listen to any great uh, artist, musician, um, actor, anybody like that, they kind of find their inspiration from something. Yeah. Um, and then they Be kind inspired. of build on that and yeah. then move it with it. Own, yeah. The port wallet um, was inspired by other designs, but yeah. it is separate and different from them. It's not an exact duplicate. And the thing with these type of products is it's really difficult to come up with something new. And You'd be surprised. You know, that's it's why hard. we're not throwing brand new minimal wallet designs every single day. A lot of this stuff is just going through our daily lives and, and having something like uh, the infold card was like a, a sudden moment of realization of, of the design <laughs> style yeah. that you guys had. And uh, yeah, it, it takes a lot of brainstorming, prototyping. It's, it's not a simple process. It's a, it's a difficult thing. So He comes to me in the middle of, of working through just a hellacious load of work and he comes through and he's got a whole ton of work on top of his plate too. And he goes, I've got it. <laughs> And I'm like sitting there like, got, I had to, got what? I had to draw it so fast before I forgot it. Yeah. He's but, literally walking around going from one workstation to another and stops and just goes, I've got it. I've got to do this right now. And literally sits down, draws it out in a notebook, and then does a prototype and, and just 100% it. Just <laughs> right out of the park. It doesn't just, happen very often. Boom. No, All doesn't. the margins are perfect. Yeah. All the lines perfect. It was amazing. That's how picky I am. Is if I don't like it 100, I won't even release it. And I've got there's 50. I've got tons 50 of prototypes in my done. office yeah. on the shelf that there was something just enough that I wouldn't release it. We get things that we do three or four prototypes on, and then we field test them, and we just just decide just that, that they're not user not friendly there. or yeah. we don't like them. Or... 
Do you recommend Tandy leather? That's a great question. If you are interested in leather, Tandy is kind of the uh, franchise of getting started in the leather world. So um, I learned a lot from going into Tandy's when I was first beginning. Um, but they have some really high end stuff. Um, so you can get good leather out of Tandy. You can get tools. Um, there are certain things that I do recommend about Tandy, but there's a lot of things I don't as well. So it's kind of hit, hit and miss on what we're talking about. But uh, if you're just getting started, the scrap pile that they sell, that's a great place to kind of pluck from and, and learn, learn some things. So we are, as you know, now utilizing YouTube uh, live streaming services and also video services as a primary uh, place for that content. So You don't say. It's, I know it's weird, right? I mean, he's having deja vu. Is this mm, yeah. Mm -hmm. So with that comes a plethora of new things we're able to do. We are working on expanding our technology to do cool camera shots. Um, we've even hired uh, or are working with somebody to do a little bit of production work. Um, yeah, so we're going to be bolstering our media presence uh, on YouTube for sure. We, we're already planning on doing these streams regularly. We're also going to be producing video content for you guys. Videos that surround what we do uh, every day here at the shop, talking about uh, some of our commonly asked questions that we get, not only in live streams, on Instagram comments and DMs, stuff that we hear every single day, which is actually a lot of questions. Uh, a lot the of good questions talking points. Are, are, a lot yeah, of them are good talking points too. A lot so. of the questions are, are repeat questions that we get from a lot of customers, things that you guys are curious about. And so we wanted to create some content that would answer some of those questions and show you guys, even show you guys some of the um, behind the scenes stuff that we do here at Craft and Lore, some of the making of, of some of our products, comparisons between our products, talking about new leathers, releases, and, and things like that. And we also kind of want to open it up to you guys in the comments section as to what type of content you guys would like to see. What questions do you have that uh, you think that you could benefit from a, a short video kind of explaining that and going into detail on a certain topic? We'd love to hear your guys' suggestions, and uh, we'll take them into account as we continue producing content here and, and start posting on, on YouTube more often. Hey. The stream. What if um, we get attacked right now on right. live? That'd be embarrassing. I guess you I'll didn't just have grab one there. of the many large pieces just of weaponry a... behind me and just okay. chuck a hatchet. I have a killer yeah. Klingon <laughs> knife that I could do like I, a punch. I brought I brought Mr. and Mrs. Smith Ooh, and Wesson with me, so oh. there it is. Okay. Uh, Oh, we got, uh, we're running out of time, so I guess we have to stop because we're not allowed to have fun forever. <laughs> whoa, 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 end. Let me end it. End. Stop. Don't. <laughs> stop. Don't. Don't stop. No. <laughs> don't stop believing. Don't. No. Uh, nope. No singing? Oh. How long do you think we'd survive in the shop come zombie apocalypse? Uh, I can't, I can't really, for some reasons, answer that. Let's just say if we died, you've been dead for weeks. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> say we're set up pretty pretty good. They've already got a they've already got a strategy. Yeah. They've already got a yeah. strategy to uh, divvy me up and, and chum the waters with it if need be. So that's right. Kind of dangle him in front of the zombies. <laughs> Little <laughs> snack packs. <laughs> oh, Little fruit by the foot. <laughs> Uh, See what right. this delves into after, wow. after the show. So this is what you get for staying tuned in. After, Once you stay after, after hours, it, yeah, yeah. <laughs> all all the crimes come it's out downhill. Yep. Thanks, guys and gals. All right, appreciate hey. it. We'll see you in a couple weeks. Hopefully. A couple weeks, maybe. We'll have a new topic. Party on. Cheers. Cheers. Thanks for watching our live stream highlights. You can join us next time if you hit subscribe and get notified. You can also follow our Instagram or join our Facebook group, The Craft and Lore Lounge. Thanks, guys. We'll see you out there.